ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರುನೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾಬನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ಅಶಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂಧು ಬೇವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ಬಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘೈತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಜತ್ ಕೃಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ್ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರನ್ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮವಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಿರಿಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯಂ ಭೇತ್ತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನತ್ವಾಲಿಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರಭಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷು ಅದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಶ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಯಕ್ಷ ಭೀಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧಾರ್ಮಫಾಲೌ ಬಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೌ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬುದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧಾರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ಬಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ಬಂಧಿತೋ ದಿಬ್ಬರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿತ್ತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿತವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ 
ಬರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಶ್ವಬದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಭೇದಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಎಂ ಗುರು ಪಶುನೈಕ ಭಕ್ತ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಕುಠರೇನ ಸಿತೇನ ಧೀರ ಬಿಭ್ರಿಶ್ಚ ಜೀವಾ ಸ್ವಯಂಯ ಅಪ್ರಮತ್ವ ಸಂವೃಶ್ಚ ಆತ್ಮನ ಅಥೋ ತ್ಯಜ್ಯ ಅಸ್ತ್ರ ಗುರುಪಶುನೈಕ ಭಕ್ತ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಕುಠರೇನ ಸಿತೇನ ಧೀರ ಬಿಭ್ರಿಶ್ಚ ಜೀವಾ ಸ್ವಯಂಯ ಅಪ್ರಮತ್ವ ಸಂವೃಶ್ಚ ಆತ್ಮನ ಅಥೋ ತ್ಯಜ್ಯ ಅಸ್ತ್ರ ಗೌಡೀಯ ಗೋಷ್ಠೀಪತಿ ಶ್ರೀಶೀಲ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಜಗ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ ಪರವಂಶ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಗುರು ಪಾತ್ ಪದ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಡಲ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪರೆಂಟ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಥ್ರೂ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಅಪ್ರಾಕೃತಿ ಜಗತ್ ಕೌರಿಯ ಗೋಷ್ಠೀಪತಿ ಶ್ರೀಶೀಲ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಗುಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಜಗ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ ಪರಮಂಶ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಸೇಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಗುರು ಪಾತ್ ಪದ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಡೆಂಟಲ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ or transparent media through which we can see what is what they are in a prakriti jaga by ignoring guru path padma we can lose everything bishana chakot was speaking josho prasadat bhagavat prasado josho aprasadat nagadguto opi josho prasadat bhagavat prasado if i am going to get the kipa of guru pad padma that is a kipa of bhagwan am i guru pad padma going to ignore me ignore me then i cannot get any place in infinity world anywhere nobody nowhere can give me place if gurudev going to ignore me ha like the case of ramchandra puri he is a disciple of sila madhavendra puripad he is the disciple of sila madhavendra puripad the great but still due to aparad and to the lotus feet of guru pad padma he lose everything when somebody going to find fault with guru pad padma and vaishna then ultimately he is going to find fault with bhagwan also this is the nature of aparad aparad can increase cannot decrease until and unless you are going to solve the problem immediately if you know there is one problem immediately you have to solve then can there can be some scope if you cannot solve the problem then the problem can increase day by day if guru pad padma going to ignore one disciple then in infinity world i cannot get any place no place there that's why ramchandra puri was ignored by silo madhavendra puri pad he wanted to advise gurudev he wanted to advise gurudev why you are crying you are brahma you should not cry guru pad padma become very angry he saying i am not getting the lotus feet of krishna i am suffering from separation from krishna and you are going to advise me get out from here i don't like to see your face by watching your face if i leave my body i cannot go to my prabhu go go away from here get out from here he was driven out by guru pad padma he was ignored 
that is the reason for why ultimately he was busy to find the fall of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That is the nature of offense. He is going to find fault with the Supreme Lord, Bhagavan. He is speaking. In this room, some ant moving around. Maybe this sannyasi is very greedy. He has taken sweet in the night time. Otherwise, why ant moving around? Mahaprabhu not speaking anything. In front of Mahaprabhu, he is going to speak this way. Mahaprabhu is speaking, not speaking anything. Ultimately, he started criticizing Guru Vaishnava for taking prasadam. He is going to serve, take this prasadam. Take much? No, you take more. After that prasadam is over, he is criticizing, you are sannyasi, you are in renounce order, how you are taking so much prasadam? Wherefrom you can manage yourself. Right? You are going to force them to take prasadam, after that you are going to criticize them. This is the nature. This is the nature. So ultimately, Mahaprabhu was bound to stop taking prasadam. I mean, one-fourth prasadam, little much. Because he is criticizing. Mahaprabhu taking so much, this, that, this way. Guru Pad Padmo can have the right to chide me because Guru Pad Padma has the right to love me. Guru Pad Padma have the right to chide me, give me punishment at the same because Guru Pad Padma love me, na? 100%. Affection. Both, either Guru Pad Padma can give punishment or can show some positive attitude. But what do you think? Negative attitude, Guru Pada, Guru Pada is chiding me, beating me, that is more kipa. If Guru Pada Padma is going to give me punishment, that is big kipa. So we should not uh, think about it. Guru Pada is speaking this way. That is a big problem. Guru position of Guru Pada Padma is more and more than Bhagavan himself. Because I am going to get Dibba Gyan by the help of Guru Pad Padma. Popad many times used to say, Brahmanda Brahmite Kono Bhagavan Jeev, Guru Krishna Prasade Pai Bhakti Lata Bij. It is from Chaitanya Charitamita. Brahmanda Brahmite Kono Bhagavan Jeev. Guru Krishna Prasade Pai Bhakti Lata Bij. In course of traveling this 14 world, in course of traveling this 14 world for infinity period, how long you are traveling, how long I am traveling, we cannot estimate because we are in Maya. After getting this body, which is one kind of sack, of stool and urine and blood and, you know. We think that this is okay, this is all. We think this is all. But in course of traveling in this 14 world, by chance we can meet with some pure Guru Vaishnava. <coughs> Don't think that we are going to get the association of Sadhguru Vaishnava out of our own effort. It is the arrangement of Nityananda. Nityananda Prabhu can arrange Satsanga. By your personal effort, we cannot get Satsanga. That's why in <coughs> Bhagavatam it is written, Satsanga Prapate Pungvir Bahuvir Sukriti Purva Sanchitai. So many Sukriti accumulated. So many Sukriti accumulated life after life. Then after that, we are going to get this kind of scope. I mean, Satsanga. 
It's not a matter of joke. And after getting satsanga, if you are going to lose everything, then nothing can be more painful than that. It's very rare. Prabhupada many times used to say, Brahmanda Bhamita Kono Bhagavan Jeev Guru Krishna Prasade Pai Bhakti Lata Bij. By the mercy of Guru Vaishnava, we are going to get Bhakti Lata Bij seed of Bhakti. We are full of ignorant, full. No knowledge there. We think we have knowledge. We think we are knowledgeable personality. We know very thing. But we are not actually knowledgeable personality. We are in the ocean of ignorance. We are in the ocean of ignorance. By the mercy of Gurudev, the slok I already told, Evam Guru Prasanaika Bhakta, Evam Mane, this way. This way mean absolute way. Absolute way mean with very full attention. Like in Kirtan we know, Bando Mui Sabdhana Mate. We know no Kirtan, Bando Mui Sabdhana Mate. Sabdhan mean with full attention. There should not be any mistake. Bando Mui Sabdhana. Very with full attention, very careful. Knowingly, unknowingly, if I am going to make some mistake, then it's very dangerous. Evam Guru Upasanaika Bhaktya Upasana means, Upasana is Sanskrit word, also we use in Bengali, but especially it is Sanskrit word. Upasana means, Upo Asana, Upa Mane, near Guru Padma. We are going to sit in front of Guru Padma forever. Not that today I can sit in front of Guru Padma, tomorrow I can turn my head, I can go back. Not that. I am going to place my Asana, eternal Asana in front of Guru Padma. I mean, Whatever I can do, whatever I can think, whatever I can see, whatever, under the guidance of Guru Padma, I mean, Guru Padma should be there, and I can see everything through Guru Padma. Otherwise, our darshan will be Maya darshan, material darshan. Any Siddhanta, what we speak, all should be under the guidance of Guru Padma. If we are going to make some Siddhanta of our own, that is a big danger. First, Bhagavan will be very angry. Then second, we can get punishment for ignoring Guru, pa Guru Parampara. It's a big punishment we can get. And we can, because many times Prabhupada used to say, slightest deviation from the track of Guru Padma can throw you away from Hari Bhajan. Slightest, even, even slightest deviation from the track of Guru Padma can throw you away from Hari Bhajan. Now you will have to think how we will have to harmonize with Guru Charan. Now you have to think how we will have to harmonize with Guru Charan. Which way? How? So that there cannot be any slightest deviation. There cannot, there should not be any deviation from Guru Charan. Uh, my opinion is little different from Guru Padma. Why? My different, little bit different from Guru Padma. No. How possible? You want to establish your own identity. That's why I'm speaking this way. I have some separate opinion, mean? You cannot have separate opinion. All your liberty is sold to me. You forget this point. You forget this point, you are sold to me. 
you are sold to me. Now in Bhagavatam it is written, Guru Patmani used to say, in Bhagavatam, Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, Vikrito Pashor Yatha. Vikrito Pashor Yatha. Like you and me going to market, going to buy one buffalo or horse or anything. You can go with me, I can buy. And when I come back, I can put that buffalo in the strong, scorchy sunlight. Buffalo cannot speak anything. He cannot complain, why you are going to put me in sunlight? What wrong I have done? You are not giving me water. We are in Gosala. We will have to take care of Gomata all the time. When to give drinking water, when to, uh, when to give this, that. She cannot speak. I am sick. You will have to realize, she is sick. Oh, sick. Immediately do call doctor, give so many medicine, injection. Cannot. Similarly, one yesterday I also told, maybe it was heavy, but not heavy. What do you mean by heavy? Absolute is absolute. Heavy, light, sweet, bitter. This word, we cannot use it. Vikrito Pashur Yatha. Like one beast is sold in the market, cannot have any personal right. Wherever, however, I am going to maintain that beast must obey, is bound to obey. Nothing to do. Until and unless our head, until and unless our head is sold unto the lotus feet of Guru Padma, Guru Vaishnav, never in infinity period. In infinity period you write in diary. Infinity period you cannot reach Bhagavan. Infinity period you can go on doing bhajan. Go here and there, Ram. Whatever you have your capacity, you, you demonstrate, you exhibit. Cannot do anything. Our soul, our head is sold unto the lotus feet of Guru Padma. No liberty. Your liberty I have taken away from you. All your liberty, all your eating, sleeping, going, speaking, all sold to me. All sold to me. You forget it. That's why you cannot make any progress in budget. But you can make progress. The day you can realize this point, then you can make sizable, sizable pro progress you can make. But you will have to remember, there should not be any fraction of second. There should not be any fraction of second in my life when I can forget my Guru Bhagavad. That kind of relation I, I have with my Guru Bhagavad. Even fraction of second. Even for fraction of second. Even for fraction of second. If I forget my Guru Bhagavad. During that period, Maya Devi can come and kick me out. There should not be any gapping. Guru Bhajan is continuous non-stop. Not that in a year, one time, Gurudev Avirvab Titi, Vesapuja Titi was there on 18th uh, November. So, I, uh, October, eh? 18th October, no, November. So, that time it was my... Uh, opportunity to, to worship Guru Bhag. Not that. Not that. that. In a year, one time, Basa Puja Tithi can come, I can worship my Guru Bhag. So much garland I can buy. Not that. In the heart, inside the heart of a pure devotee, inside the heart of a genuine disciple, every fraction of second Guru Puja is going on. Every fraction of second, Guru Puja going on. That's why he is successful. That's why he can speak Harikatha. Other people cannot speak Harikatha. They can speak lecture. Harikatha, they have no right to speak. How they can? Every fraction of second, there should be Aruti of Guru Padma. Every fraction of second. 
Guru Puja and Aruti. That is the symptom of a genuine disciple. Who is genuine disciple? Who is enjoying the hundred percent kipa of Guru Pad Padma? Who is Snigdha Shishya? Surely he is Guru. He need not become Guru, but he automatically he become Guru. He need not establish himself as Guru. He need not establish himself, I am Guru. No need. He, when he become number one disciple of Guru Pāt Padma, when he is enjoying the hundred percent kipa of Guru Pāt Padma, total kipa of Guru Pāt Padma, going to be translated into Shishya, disciple. That time, disciple and Guru non-different from each other. That is the Siddhanta Vichar. Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to speak to us through, by the help of Uddhav. You don't understand. Why Bhagavan Sri Krishna is speaking? There is not even a slightest difference between Uddhav and I myself. Even one molecule, not molecule, atomic, atomic gapping, intermolecular gapping or inter... Even that kind of gapping is not there. That means, who is Uddhav? He is me. What do you mean? You hear it, but you cannot realize. You are hearing repeatedly, I am speaking, but you cannot realize. Why you are speaking repeatedly this? You cannot realize. Now I explain, that is the reason. That is the reason for Bhagavan Sri Krishna repeatedly speaking, Uddhava and I myself same. Mean, who is 100% disciple, number one disciple, I mean who is totally harmonized with Guru Padma, automatically he become Guru. Let, let whole world shout against him, give slogan. We don't obey you, but what to do? It is the arrangement of Bhagavan. Bhagavan speaking, he is, he, is, he, is my, he is my disciple, he is my Guru. He is Guru. Uddhav is Guru. This way, one appropriate disciple, one hundred percent, who is inclined unto the lotus feet of Gurudev, then he become Guru. Automatically he become Guru. Automatically. It's an automatic factor. Nobody going to make him Guru. Automatically Guru. It's the arrangement of Bhagavan. Bhagavan going to make him Guru. So we are going to, we are going to place our eternal asan in front of Guru Padma. Even for even for a fraction of a second, I don't like to turn up from Gurudev. I like to face to face. When I come in front of Prabhupada, I feel very dirty. When I come in front of Prabhupada, I feel myself guilty. I have so dirtiness, sati. This is the magic spell of Guru Vaishnava, pure Guru Vaishnava. When we are coming in front of pure Guru Vaishnava, we feel shy. We cannot look at him because I have so many weakness. So many weakness, how I can see? It's so pure. Like Prabhupada used to say, if you are coming in front of Himalayan hill, Everest, if you look at Himalaya, Everest, you think, who am I? So teeny creature. Oof. It's a great. Himalayan hill, oh, so great. I am teeny creature. I cannot even discover who am I. In relation, in relation to this infinity, in relation to this infinity universe, when I think my existence, I feel sigh, who am I? Some insect, not, even not in, you know, virus or bacteria. Because it is relative world, huh? Relative world. If one ant is entering into your cloth, and can thinking, who is he? Oh my God, endless. Your body is endless for ant. And think, where I come? Who is that creature? Prabhupada many times used to speak this small story. One frog. One frog staying in a well. No never seen outside world. In a well. Someday, he is going outside well. 
He is going to meet with one elephant. But no idea. There can be, there can be such a, there can be such a big creature. Even no idea, no experience. Because this is relative world. Then that frog again going inside that well. And speaking to mother, I have seen such a big creature. Big? How much big? This much? Going to take some oxygen I and mean, I'm going to swallow the blood. Ah. This much? Tooth? Not this much. So big. Huh? And maybe a little bit more. Ah. After that, what happens? Taking ear and ear, brushed. The, you know, brushed and died. This is our condition. Papa speaking, we all think, I am a boss in my helm. I am a boss in my helm. Oh, who are you? You try to discover your existence in relation to this infinity world. You can feel sigh. Not even bacteria, you know, uh, you know, virus bacteria. So small. Because it is a relative world. If you forget this point, you always think. If you think this point, always, then automatically you can feel humbleness. You need not, you need not exhibit your humbleness externally, automatically. If you think your lowness, you, if you think your lowness, how much insignificant you are, automatically you can, ah, who am I? Similarly, Papa speaking, when we are coming in front of pure Guru Vaishnava, great exalted devotee, we are feeling shy. Why, how I can talk with him? What I can speak to him in front of Prabhupada? All our Guru Bhargi used to say, in front of Prabhupada, we could not speak. If suppose Prabhupada is there, we cannot speak. Only looking at the lotus feet and they cannot speak. They become speechless. His greatness, so, try to realize the greatness of Guru Pāda Padma. Pope Pad, many times speaking, until and unless you realize your Guru Pāda Padma is Bhagavan, all same. Till then you cannot do Harina. The day you can realize Guru Pāda Padma is Bhagavan himself, then you can do. Any of our Guru Bhargava, they told me that in front of Prabhupada, it was quite impossible to speak out something. Even positive thing, we like to say something nice. But in front of Prabhupada, we become speechless. We cannot speak anything. What happens? Why you are... No, actually, speak out. What happens? No, actually, speak out. What do you like to speak? After that. If you never mind, I like to speak something. We have no time to do one like Harina. We are busy with Seva. All that. So, when we can do one like Harina, we are busy with Seva, with humble mood. Why? Night time, what you are doing? Night time. That means you can do Harina, after that you can sleep. You can do Harina, after that you can sleep. This is the teachings we get. So much, you know, engagement. We have no right to speak, we have no time to do Harina. Then Guru Bhargava can beat with chapal to my face. Rascal, you are speaking Harikatha? Stupid. Do Harina. Then after then you can sleep. Otherwise you have no right to sleep. You cannot say I am tired. A tiredness is coming from material job. Tiredness is not coming from bhajan. All the personal associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they feel enthusiastic energy even after doing eight hours Sankirtan, ten hours all, all the time. Sankirtan is such a thing. So, be sure that we are going to place our asana in front of Gurudev forever. Even fraction of second, we cannot go away from Guru Padma. That is called our success. Evam Guru Pashanika Bhaktya. Because who is Bhagavan? Who knows? 
I don't know who is Bhagavan. Where is Bhagavan? I can see my Guru Pathpad. I cannot see Bhagavan. Where is Bhagavan? Who is Bhagavan? Where is staying? With? Who knows? But I can see my Guru Pathpad. He can bestow kipa on me. He can give me Dibba Gyan, transcendental knowledge. Then I can, he can open my eyes. I can see everything. Oh, then I can see Bhagavan. If Guru Pātpāda is not going to give me kipa by your personal effort, you can see Bhagavan. Go and see Bhagavan. Go and see Bhagavan. Where is Bhagavan? You go, search out. Big problem. So when Guru Pātpāda is giving me a prakita gyan, transcendental knowledge, then by that transcendental knowledge, Dibba gyan is one kind of sharp aged sword. Sword, you know, sword. Shabbos. Guru Maharaj, Guru Padpada give me me, Dibba Gyan, it is one kind of sword, by the help of which I can cut the root cause of that ignorance. I can cut and throw for error. I can throw away. That is why it is written, Guru Padpada Svi, Evam Guru Pasanika Bhakta. Vidya kuthare no sithe no thira vibrishya jiva sayamayam apramatta. Also, this word apramatta I already told half an hour before. Apramatta means with full consciousness, full alertness, full alertness. There should not be slight mistake. No. No mistake can be there. So, Upasana means to sit, to place your asan, to place your asan to worship Gurudev just in front of Guru Padma, not here and there, forever, forever. Bibrishya jiva sayamayam, because bonded soul for infinity period, for infinity period. We cannot point out the time from when we are in the ocean of ignorance. No time. That's why we say uh, infinity period. Infinity period, this problem is. Now we are going to meet with Guru Vaishnava, Brahmando Bhanitakuna Bhagavan Jeev, very lucky Jeev, come in front of Guru Vaishnava. They are going to give us a seat of bhakti. Shida Bhakti means by watching pure Guru Vaishnava, their Shiva mood, I also develop some desire inside my heart. That is called seed. What do you mean by seed? Externally, seed means we think if I am going to get the seed of mango, I can put this seed inside mud and after a suitable condition, I mean air, water, everything, that mango tree can go, is a seed. Bhakti Lata Bij in common. Bhakti Lata Bij is common. All other seed, Bhakti Lata Bij is there. But specifically, when your sarup can be open, then you can discover. In general, Bhakti Lata Bijmin, you can develop the desire to serve. By watching Guru Vaishnava, you, you can develop on desire, I can also serve. Positive mood. By the mercy of Guru Padma, you can get this Bhakti Lata Bij, and you can go on drenching water, mean, Savan Kirtan Jale Kare Sechan. Savan Kirtan. Savan. That's why I speak to everybody, you can sing something, speak something. Shravan Kirtan. When your Shravan, when your hearing is perfect, when, when your hearing is perfect, I mean 100% inclination, 100% inclination, and with full submission you are hearing, like Parikhid Maharaj. 
Parikhit Maharaj is the topmost Acharya of Savan, Savanakha Bhakti. There is nine fold of Bhakti, but Parikhit Maharaj is the Acharya of Savanakha Bhakti. Parikhit Maharaj is the Acharya of Savanakha Bhakti. So topmost. In Sravanakka Bhakti, nobody can beat him. He is the Acharya. And Shukdeva Goswami is the topmost Acharya of Kirtanakka Bhakti. Shabanam, Kirtanam, Vismas, Paranam, Pada, Sevanam. Ejo, sub nine folds of Bhakti. Each Bhakti, each one, every one, one, one Acharya there. One, one Acharya. One one Acharya. Like Parikhit Maharaj is the Acharya Vishnu Savane Parikshit Ababat. Vishnu Savane Parikshit Ababat Bhayasa Kikirtane Pralada Smarane. This way, nine folds of our nine each Acharya. Lakshmi, Ambaris Maharaj, Hunumanji, all, Bali Maharaj, all. Each is one kind of fold of bhakti there. This way we know that hundred by hundred percent submission if we hear from Guru Padma, that is called actual hearing. That is called actual hearing. When submission is not perfect, then hearing also not perfect. Then your hearing is also not perfect. Now we can see how put how Uddhavji Maharaj, with full attention, going to hear, going to hear Bhagavan Sri Krishna, Uddhavji Maharaj. I was discussing. Nine, Bhagavan Sri Krishna already told that Uddhav, only by Sadhu Sangha, only by Sadhu Sangha, all of them, were successful. Bahavo mat padam prapta trashto kaya dhavadayo. Bahavo mat padam prapta trashto kaya dhavadayo. Brishaparava balirvana mayascha tu vivishana. Shugri vahanuman riksho gajo gridho vajiko pata. Vyadaha kubja braje gopo. Yogya patna stata pari te nadito sutigana no pasita mahatamaha abrata tapta tapasha satsangyatman upagataha only by sadhu sangha sadhu sangha sadhu sangha sarbu sasse koi lovamatu sadhu sangha sarbu siddhi hai sadhu sangha sadhu sangha sarbu sasse koi Lavamattu sadhu sange sarbo siddhi hai. Sarbo siddhi mana all siddhi. Bhakti Muttaku write in commentary that Lavamattu sadhu sange sarbo siddhi hai. It's mean, it's mean even you can get Krishna prema. Lavamattu sadhu sange. One second, one second divided by eleven. One second. Divided by eleven, that much time is more than sufficient to get the lotus feet of Bhagavan. But we cannot believe. How is that possible? Sasa speaking. But Sangha should be appropriate. And also it is written in Chaitanya Charitamrita that Krishna Bhakti Janma Mul Hai Sadhu Sangha. In Chaitanya Chaitanya it is written, Krishna Bhakti Janma Mool Hai Sadhu Sangha. Even the root cause of your Bhakti, root cause, is also Sadhu Sangha. Krishna Bhakti root cause, Krishna Bhakti Mool Hai Sadhu Sangha. Krishna Bhakti Mool, the root cause. But we cannot believe. Many times it happens so. By watching one Vaishnava for a fraction of a second, total life change. I can give one example. If you go through Jaiva Dharma, 
You've gone through Jaiva Dharma. Gone through Jaiva Dharma. How many times? Guru Padmanda used to say, at least hundred times you have to go. In Jaiva Dharma. Then you can. Because Jaiva Dharma is the extract of all Goswami Gandha. You need not search out all th thousands of Goswami. All Vishwana Chakotva, Jiva Goseva, Rupa Goseva, Sunatana Raghunath, all vast Ananta Param Kila Sabda Shastram. Shabda Shastra is the ocean, infinity ocean. How much capacity you have to remember or realize? We are teeny soul, very limited capacity. Ananta Param Kila Sabda Shastram. That's why all Goswami, they wanted to search out different Shastra to give us a cream of all Shastra. But still we are poor. Again Bhakti Thakur is going to take some cream from all Goswami Gandha and give the cream. Even Goswami Gandha we have no right. So tough. You cannot understand any meaning. So how we can realize? So, we are, we are indebted to Bhakti Mirtha. We are, always we are thinking we are grateful to Bhakti Mirtha Thakur. Because if Bhakti Mirtha Thakur is not there, who can give us this kind of procedure to go through Goswami Gontho? Only Bhakti Mirtha Thakur. By the help of Bhakti Mirtha Thakur. Bhakti Thakur wanted to stir all the ocean of Shastra, especially Goswami Gantha. I am going to give us Chaitanya Sikshamrita, Mahaprabhu Shiksha, Jaiva Dharma, all different books, countless, different kirtans. Even by even by the help of even by the help of Bhakti Thakur Kirtan, we can get the lotus feet of Gauranga. Our Gaurkishadar Babaji Maharaj. He used to keep Parthana Prem Bhakti Chandiga of written by North Mataku here. Only two books here. That's a very small book, Kitan book. No books any. No books. No need of any books. But there is the cream of Bhagavatam, everything. Two books only. Parthana Prem Bhakti Chandiga. No, written by North Mataku. Two books are there in the armpit of Gorki Baba. He wanted to prove, you are, if you are really sincere, by the help of Parthana Prambhakti Chandika, I can put guarantee that you can get the lotus feet of Gauranga. But even after hearing so much Harikatha, going to so many books, we so cannot. Because no sincerity. In Upanishad, one word is there. Aschadya Shabakta Kusala Shalabdhya. In Upanishad it is written, Kathopanishad, I think. Aschadyasya bhakta, kushalasya labdha. Who can speak Harikatha? Who can speak? Aschadyasya bhakta. Atma tattva bid. Who is verse in Atma tattva? Who is there? You search whole world and find out two, one or two or three. Fine. <laughs> Upanishad it is speaking. Aschadyasya bhakta, kushalasya labdha. There is rare, such a speaker, such a speaker, transcendental speaker, is a rare in the whole universe. Even in the demigods, they, they, we cannot accept them as Bhagavad speaker. Shukdev Goswami you can accept. But demigods, if they are going to speak Bhagavad, no, 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 you need not speak. Only Sankar Bhagavan can speak Bhagavad, then we can hear. We know there is some problem with demigods. We cannot believe them. Only we can believe Sankar. Okay. Sankar is okay. Sankar Bhagavan is going to speak Bhagavad Katha. I, I can see it. I, Indra, Varun, no, 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 you need not speak. I cannot hear. No, no. Because they are problem. <laughs> they are problem. So, even in the, you know, heavenly planets, Gandharva, Kinnar, you go up and up, you find one speaker. Who is like Sukhdev Goswami? Find one, one speaker. Nobody there. <laughs> That's why in Upanishad it is written, Aschadya Savakta. Very rare, strange. 
such a speaker, transcendental speaker, who himself realizes and speaking out of his own realization, this is real. In infinity word. Ashtajya Svakta. Ar kushal asya labdha. And it is, it is still rare. It is still more rare to find one man who can hear. Speaker anyway, one or two he can find. But uh, who can hear, that is that. It is written. Who can hear? Okay, one or two he can find a uh, speaker. But who can hear? It's still more rare. So you understand the gravity. Not a matter of joke. We are joking. We are just playing with bhajan. We like small boys and daughters, you know, playing with toy. Small daughter and the boys, they are playing with toy. They are playing with the toy, cooking, sleeping. <laughs> we are doing like this. This way, someday if we can, someday if we can develop quality to do actual bhajan, I am not going to break your heart. You are doing so many things, I know. I am going to give you energy. But it is the true fact. <laughs> so this way, Bhagavan speaking, Sadhu Sangha is the very root cause of your bhakti. It is the arrangement of Bhagavan. Without Sadhu Sangha, nobody can get bhakti out of his own effort. It is the arrangement. Because Bhagavan and devote, Bhagavan and devote, devotee are non-different from each other. That's why Bhagavan arranged, okay, devotees can. Even bonded soul can pair in front of Krishna. Pray, oh Bhagavan. But that prayer cannot go, that, that, that prayer of bonded soul cannot reach the lotus feet of Krishna. Bo prayer of a bonded soul cannot reach up to the lotus feet of Krishna. Impossible. That is why in Kirtan it is written, Vaishnavero Abedone Krishna Dayamoy Ehano Pramor Pati Hoiven Shada. In Kitan you can go and do every day, you can do Kitan. Every day you can go there, do Kitan, I can give the key. All oh, everybody do there. But seven o'clock. Before the demons are sleeping up to eight, nine. Within that period you can do Kitan and come back. There are so many demons there. <laughs> All are up. So Vaishnavero Abhidhane Krishna Dayamaya, Bhakti Mathev writing. By the prayer of a Vaishnava, Bhagavan can pay attention to my request. If I directly pray unto a lotus feet of Krishna, Bhagavan is not going to, within no time, how? No connection. With Bhagavan, bonded soul cannot have connection. Only we can get connection through Guru Vaishnava. Also, there can be some question. Vaishnavas are transcendental, Bhagavan is also transcendental. If bonded soul cannot get in touch with Bhagavan, because Bhagavan is transcendental, then how bonded soul can get in touch with Guru Vaishnava? They are also transcendental. Sachita Anandamaya? That is a question. This question can come. You already told Bhagavan and Guru Vaishnava non different, qualitatively all same. Chinmoy. Then if, if bonded soul cannot get in touch with Bhagavan, then how they can get in touch with Guru Vaishnava? It is also impossible. Yes, it is impossible. It is also impossible. But possible. It is impossible at the same time possible. How possible? But it is the arrangement of Bhagavan. Guru Vaishnava, though non-different from Bhagavan, but still, acting as a true representative of Bhagavan. That is why they are coming in the form of human body. They are just coming like human body. Gurudev also eating, sleeping, just like human. Just same. We cannot see the difference between Gurudev and ordinary human being. We cannot find. Vishwana Chakodva speaking, Gurudev, Vaishnavas, pure Vaishnavas, they are also transcendental. But still, Vishwanath Chakodhya writing, like in dream, like in dream you are watching some thing, something you are watching. You think it is true. 
Guru Vaishnav, they are not going to be involved in the problem of bonded soul. Like, you like to save, you like to save somebody, some Mataji, some ladies, some Mataji is going to drown in the water. By chance you watch, hey, that Mataji is going to drown in water. So you jump in the water, going to help that Mataji to save. But you yourself don't know how to swim properly. Then both of you, you and that lady, that Mataji, both are going to drown. This example is more than sufficient to make you understand the position of Gurudev and bonded soul. This example is more than sufficient to make you understand the position of real Gurudev and false Gurudev and bonded soul. Follow what is it? See, you don't know how to swim, you are going to save that Mataji. Then how you can say, you don't know swimming, then both of them are going to, are going to catch you and both of you go underwater. This is the condition of Baddha Guru and Fallen Guru. Those who are not actual Guru. Those who are not actual Guru, their condition is like that. But genuine Guru, but a genuine Guru, Sadguru, he is not like that. Sadguru, from long distance, he is not going to talk with you. You don't know the power of Sadguru. You think it's going to be one kind of gossiping. Not that. If Sadguru is going to take determination, I like to, I like to save that bonded soul. Determination. Only determination. Determination is so power that by his determination, some reaction going. Some reaction going. Powerful Gurudev is so powerful, Sadguru Vaishnava, you don't know. I have seen in Vrindavan, Naimi Sharana, here, there, some sadhu sitting, he likes to catch the attention of that bonded soul going there. He is sitting here. That man is bound to come. That man is coming. To Vedanabhava. So, catching power. So, only by the determination of a, of a Sadguru, only by determination, today or tomorrow, can save you. Only by determination, I can save you. Okay, wherever you like to go, go. Go. Wherever you like to go, I can save you someday. can save you. This is the nature. So, Sadguru means, if Sadguru is going to if Sadhguru is going to deliver somebody, if Sadhguru like to deliver some bonded soul from bonded condition, not that the Sadhguru can fall down. Are you? What is this? If Sadhguru is going to help somebody to come out of Maya, and Sadhguru is going to fall down, what is this? This is not the symptom of Sadhguru. This is surely not the symptom of Sadhguru. How is possible? Not possible. This is not the symptom of Sadhguru. So, Vishwana Chakodha speaking, like in the dream, we are watching so many things. And sometimes we think it's just like real. Fact. One very poor man, very poor man, he is, I already told, he is a pulling car, you know, some luggage good, pushing, Earning money, 10 rupees, 20 rupees, 100 rupees in a day, whole day, doing labor. Someday he is sleeping in the night time. A morning, six over, his friend going to kick on his backside. Hey, get up! I'll wake up. He was watching one nice dream. He was watching one nice dream. What dream? I become billionaire. I become a huge amount of money. I marry with one beautiful lady and in dream, everything. When the friend is going to kick on the backside, the dream break down. He was sorry. Oh, I was watching nice dream, but now the yeah, now I realize it's only dream. All break down. It's not track. We are also watching so many dreams. 
in living condition, in dream. Actually, those have got no reality. Our thinking, our talking, no reality. Dream, like dream. Like a man in dream, no reality. What are you are thinking? Foolish. What is the reality of your thinking? They are thinking this way. So, Vishnu Chakodha speaking, those who are Sadguru, those who are pure Guru Vaishnavas, they are feeling pain by watching the painful condition of those poor people. Oh, what they are doing? Oof. They are singing, they are watching the pain of this, you know, material people. Pain of this material people. And they are going to help them. That doesn't mean they are going to break their own bhajan. They are going to help those bonded souls. But that doesn't mean they are going to break connection with Bhagavan. They are going to. Their connection with Bhagavan is okay. I mean, they are, I mean, their position is intact. What I mean to say, their position is intact. They are never displaced from their own position. They are never displaced from their... But still, it is the arrangement of Bhagavan, just like a dream, somebody going to help somebody. Huh? Like they are going to help them in such a way, so that their personal bhajan, personal position is not disturbed. That kind of power is there with Guru Vaishnava. This way, Bhagavan is going to arrange the situation in such a way, so that bonded soul at least can get the scope to association, get the association of Guru Vaishnava. That's, that's why Sadhu Sangha is the top. I can give one example from Jaiva Dharma, Sila Bhakti Muttagur writing, at Baranasi Dham, you heard the name of Baranasi, Kashi Vishwanath. In Baranasi, one Mayavadi Guru, Mayavadi Guru, one Mayavadi Guru, he is the Guru of ten, over 10,000 disciples. Very important personality, according to their own estimation. Not according to our, our estimation. <laughs> according, to, according to their own estimation, the very important personality. He is doing his own procedure of is doing own procedure of his own bhajan. A, in a bhajan kutir. In a bhajan kutir at the at the bank at the bank of Ganga. You gone there? You've been there? Never. I don't know. Many times I went there, there was some different purpose. I spoke also Hari, by the mercy of Vishwanath, I spoke Harikatha in Gauri Mat there. But I find nothing, all gone. All gone, vanish. After Prabhupada gone, all vanish. Like camphor, you know, if you keep the camphor open, all evaporized. Nothing there. All the power of Prabhupada, nothing there. Only there is sitting and kneeling and sitting and doing some kirtan. That is there. That is their running, that is their running Goryamat. Excuse me, I am bound to speak what I saw. So in Baranasi, at the bank of Ganga, Mayavadis, they have so many bhajan kutir. Bhajan, this word, this word I don't like to use. Bhajan means, bhajan is this word is applicable for Vaishnavas. But they still what to do? I will have to <laughs> convince you. So, bhajan means seva. And Prabhupada says, seva is only applicable for Bhagavan, Guru, Vaishnavdi. But uh, what to do? At the bank of Ganga, they have some bhajan kuti all. All Mayavadis are sitting at the bank of Ganga and thinking, I am Brahma. I am Brahma myself. I am Brahma. They are thinking. That is their bhajan. Oh, yeah, I am Brahma. I myself is Brahma. Who is Brahma? This is their foolish bhajan. <laughs> so, one day, they have one Acha, that guru, important personality according to their own history, watching one Vaishnava going, one Vaishnava going and singing, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Adhaita Gadadhar Siva Sadi Gaur Bhaktavin. They are singing and with Kartal, singing and sometimes fall down out of ecstatic feeling, fall down. Tears rolling down his cheeks, but he is a, a, actually some abnormal feeling. Vaishnava, oh, so nice. 
is doing kirtan and going on. And that by chance that Mayabadi watching that Vaishnavari is a very high condition. Very high condition, shedding tears, so ecstatic feeling, doing kirtan. Oh, oh, I must talk with this Vaishnavas. I must talk with this Vaishnavas. Very nice sadhu. After the thinking, no, 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 I should not go. I am Mayavadi, na? I am Mayavadi. If somebody watching me, I am Guru. If somebody watching me, I am going to talk with Vaishnava. It is very insulting. I cannot go. No, no, I should not go. I should not go. After, no, 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 I should go. Because this kind of chance is very rare. I must go. No, 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 I should not go. Confusion. I mean, inside mind, some confusion going on. I sh should go, should not go, should go. In the meantime, that Vaishnava enter into one land. Because Varanasi is the oldest city in Bharat, in India. Varanasi is the oldest city in Bharat. There are so many land. I've been there. If, if I take you in one land, by closing your eyes, you can start moving. Are <laughs> where to go? Where I can get out? You can only move around. <laughs> only you can move around. You cannot get out. So blind land. All uh, the Vaishnav gone. Then that uh, Mayavadi guru is repenting. Ah, I lose this chance. I lose this chance. That is a nice sadhu, but he could not meet with us. He could not meet with the sadhu. And the aperture of his bhajan kutir, and the aperture of his bhajan kutir, this much. This much. Only somehow you can, only somehow you can get into the bhajan kutir. So small kutia. With that much aperture. So how long he was successful to watch that Vishnu? Fraction of second or maybe one second. That much time was more than sufficient to catch the attention of that Mayavadi. He was bound to come at Navadip Dham. He was bound to come. He could not stay, feeling some problem. I must go, I must go. By, because, by, because by that time, I am speaking about 400 years back. By that time, the name of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was in full glowing condition. Now it's all evapor evaporated. Nobody cares care who is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. All people going outside, America, Russia, France. They don't care to go to Varanasi to, uh, to preach in front of them. They cannot do. Everybody going outside. They are not going to South India to preach properly. To stop their face, not going. This is the condition. So now if you go to Varanasi, you can find all the idea, Gauriya Siddhanta, which are all evaporated. You cannot find. Nobody going to speak. Who can find it? Mayavadi, they are very powerful. At least they are going to uh, follow some Asutian Pimas. Though it is useless, I know. Though it is useless, but still they are doing. Come on. If somebody doing some astrology and finances, though they are not going to get bhakti, but still has some power. Astrology and Hiranyakashipu not going to do bhakti, not going to do astrology for bhakti. I know so many cases that only by astrology and finances they are getting power. No bhakti, nothing, ma, dry. Dry, nothing there. One Mayavadi, Sanyasi, used to do bhajan in near Aligarh. Near Aligarh, you will have to go 25 kilometers near Aligarh. One village, one Mayavadi is doing bhajan there. Village man coming, they have no idea about what is it. One day, one very important thing, one day very important thing is stolen. That sannyasi getting up 3 o'clock, taking bath in cold water, in beating cold, taking bath, Without clothes, sitting in bhajan, in front of fire, doing astrid and pinasa, no bhakti, doing this. But he is, someday some important thing, stolen. Stolen by somebody. That sannyasi called all village men and speaking, 
who among you going to steal this thing, you give back. It is very important for me. You can give me back. Because I cannot buy it. It is rare. It is rare. I cannot buy it. It's not, for, it's not available. You can give it back. Nobody is speaking anything. Repeatedly requesting you, give me back. I request you, I love you all. Give me back. Nobody is speaking anything. Ultimately speaking, who is, who has stolen this item from me, within three days, snack going to be bite him. Only speak this. Within three days, snack going to bite him. Miracle. The boy, the man, who stolen, within three days, snack bite him and die. So you see, only, no bhakti, no bhakti, only by astrogen. If I go on fasting for seven days, ten days, follow, like Dubo Mahara, doing astrogen penance, but that was separate because I cannot compare with that because under the guidance of Naraji Maharaj is done, so ultimately he was successful. But all material people there, what value? So, that Mayavadi from Varanasi, who is the guru of 10,000, more than 10,000 disciples. Finally, he was bound to come in Navadip. He was bound to come at Navadip Dham, taking bath in Ganga, searching. I like to meet one with one of so pure devotees, asking local people. They say, they are in village in Gadrum. In Gadrum Deep, you can go, there is Paramahansa Babaji Maharaj. You can meet with him. It's very nice, sir. Then he's coming. By the guidance of local people, is coming to meet with Paramahansa Babaji Maharaj and paying prostate dandavat. Paramahansa Babaji Maharaj was doing bhajan. 4 o'clock, 3.30, he was doing bhajan. By chance, he open eyes and find one sannyasi lying down in front of him. Oh, you are falling, you are sannyasi. You, uh, where I can go? You are sannyasi. You are paying dandavat to me. No, 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 no. After that, he was successful to get the keeper. I mean, Harinam Diksha. He was successful to get Harinam and Diksha from Paramahansa Bhavaji After that, he throw all his red clothes, everything, going to start fresh. Well, all done past is all useless. Now, by under the guidance of Paramahansa Vaishnava, Paramahansa Babaji Maharaj, he is going to learn Siddhanta which are everything. He was successful to get the darshan of Nishingananda Brahmachari in Nishingapalli. You know, in Nishingapalli, there is one kitchen room. You have seen? You have seen one kitchen room where they are cooking paramanna. But you never, be, you, ne, you never went there inside. At present, they, they don't allow anybody outside. But that time, 15, 20 years back, I went inside. Even and went underground. Where? This Nishingananda Brahmachari used to do bhajan. I went down, underground. There is one cave. At present, they are going to keep their all, you know, brass item and cooking item, bucket, these are all there. I went there. That was the place where Nishingananda Brahmachari used to do bhajan. So, by the help of Paramahansa Babaji Maharaj, he was also successful to take the darshan of Nishingananda Brahmachari, who is the Gurudev of Paramahansa Babaji Maharaj. This way he was successful. Miracle. That Mayavadi becomes so high Vaishnav, high class Vaishnav. That Mayavadi ultimately becomes so high class Vaishnav that you cannot even imagine. All Vaishnav society going to Give him the giving, give him the asan, I mean the cheer of Acharya Sip. All. You sit. And whenever outside people coming to fight with Paramahansa, 
to fight with Guru Vaishnava, all outside people are at present also. In, in our own sampradaya also fighting. Why? why he not allowed? Why he is speaking this way? In our own sampradaya. But previously, outside sampradaya, they used to come to fight with Vaishnava. Why you are that useless? So somebody has to, somebody has to defend, na? So that, that Vaishnava Das, his name was Vaishnava Das. Whenever somebody coming, big, big Pandit, to fight with Gauriya Vaishnava, the all Vaishnava society, you can go and fight with him. So you see, that Mayavadi, that Mayavadi, ultimately coming here in Navadip Dham, and is successful to do bhajan, and enjoying the full kipa, all Guru Vaishnava going up. He is going to defend Vaishnava Siddhanta Bisha. Not one case. I can go on speaking so many cases. Only fraction of second or one second they got the association of pure Vaishnava one. They changed their life. Like I already told you, you can remember, in Varanasi, after Prakasananda Saraswati, who was the second Prakasananda Saraswati? Prakasananda Saraswati was a soul was the topmost knowledgeable personality in their society, not in our society, Mayavad Sampradaya. And after that, he was the second Prakasananda, number one, so knowledgeable. He wrote one book, that name of the book is Advaita Siddhi. He wrote one book. The name of the book is Advaita like Mahabharata, you know, epic, epic Mahabharata. He wrote Advaita Siddhi, one book. He is from Faridpur, at present Bangladesh. That time it was undivided India. He was so knowledgeable. He went to Varanasi. He was so knowledgeable person. After that, another knowledgeable personality was there in Varanasi. He was Gopinath Dilit. Gopinath is known as a Gopinath. Gopinath, some title is there. He's so knowledgeable. Big, big man used to come to him. Now he's no one. That man is the topmost Mayavadi. Thousands of devotees. Thousands of disciples. Devotee I cannot say. Sorry. De disciple. Devotee I cannot say. Thousands of. So it's so important. Finally, what happens, you know? Finally, somehow, how his mood is changed, I don't know. That, his name is uh, Madhusudan Saraswati. His name is Madhusudan Saraswati. He is coming here. In Navadip Dham. After that, taking bath in Navadip Dham. I don't know what miracle. Whole life is doing Mayavadi and fighting Mayavadi. Whole life, almost whole life gone. How is miracle he is coming here? How is coming by that? So see, maybe he perplexed. This way, when he saw one Vaishnava, how a change is luck. He is coming in Navadip, taking bath in Ganga. Got the association of Guru Vaishnava. After that, total life changed. Total. Here also in that side of the river. Logi, logi, logical Pandit, peak logical. Somehow he get the Kipa and change life. His Bigraha deity is there, Notua Gaur. Gaurangapu came in dream. You express me in this way I am dancing. Gaurangapu said, in this pose. Gaurangapu came, came in dream. This you can, you can establish deity. That deity is there in Navadi, near, before Vishnupiya station. Very dry personality, logic, logic only, Tarka, Tarka, change. He, his son, all change, become great devotee. It's a miracle. Like the case of Sarvam Bhattacharya. Sarvam Bhattacharya himself speaking, I was a, I was, I was a, a iron piece. Sarvam Bhattacharya himself speaking, I was a iron piece. How powerful you are, you are going to melt, you are going to melt that iron piece. Sarva is speaking to Mahaprabhu. So Sadhu Sangha is very here. Yeah? That Mayavadi, when all disciple before his death, and disciple 
requesting Gurudev, whole life you are advising us. But now before you leave your body, you can speak something cream, some gist. We like to hear from you. What you realize? After whole long life, for long life you are doing bhaja, doing your Mayavad bhajan, and now before you leave your body, I like to hear the gist. What you you can you can advise us? Asking, and the guru, I mean that uh, that you know Madhusudan Saraswati was speaking. Bhangshi vibushita karat navani radavat. पीतांबरा दरुन बिंब फला धरो उस्ताद पूर्णेंदु सुंदर मुखा दर बिंद नाबाद कृष्णात परम किम पितात्तम हम न जाने कृष्णात परम किम पितात्तम हम न जाने डिसाइपल ऑल गॉल मैड होल लाइफ यू आर स्पीकिंग मायावादी नाउ यू आर स्पीकिंग अ वेरी एन अ सिक्सटीन इयर्स बॉय Playing on a fluids that you know, Bhagwan Sri Krishna. Without this tatta, I don't like to speak any tatta anymore. Finally, I don't know any. I don't know any tatta superior than that. That is the final tatta. Bangsi bibushita karat navani radava. पीतांबरा धरुण बिंब फला धरो स्थान पूर्णेन्दु सुंदर मुखा धर बिंद नाभान कृष्णात परम किम पितात्तम हम न जाने कृष्णात परम किम पितात्तम हम न जाने लाइक शंकराचार्य ऑल्सो शंकराचार्य ऑल्सो मेनी टाइम रोड भज गोविंदम भज बट दे आर संप्रोदाय दे डोंट दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड वाट शंकराचार्य जो Wanted to speak, but they don't understand. They only catch that Mayavad Bhasha. They only understand that Mayavad Bhasha. But Shankaraja who wanted to give the medicine, perfect medicine, they couldn't realize. Many times I can show you Shankaraja who writing stotra, so many where clearly is speaking about Krishna. Clear, I have so many documents. Not only uh, Mohamudgar, Mohamudgar, this you know. भज गोविंदम भज गोविंदम गोविंदम भजो मूरमते संप्राप्ते सन्निहिते काले नहीं नहीं रुक रक्षति डुंक्रिय करने माँ कुरु धन जन जौवन गर्वम हरति निमेशात कालो सर्वम माया माया मीदम अखिलम हेतवा ब्रह्म बदम प्रविशो विदित बेरी संकरजो जो स्पीक भजो गोविंदम भजो बट दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड मेनी टाइम्स संकरजो के एडवाइस बट दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड बाय द ऑर्डर ऑफ भगवान यू वाज बाउंड टू स्पीक सो हियर बाय द मार्सी ऑफ भगवान सिक्किशनो we are trying to realize the gravity of sadhu sangha so long we are trying to realize the gravity of sadhu sangha but yesterday i told one point very important point that in infinity world in prakita and aprakita both in prakita jagat and apra infinity world wherever whoever is doing bhajan or going to Get the lotus feet of Krishna, but not the same. Their devotional mood is a little, maybe some little bit different. There must be some speciality. I am doing in my way, shown by my Guru Dev. I am going to speak you, but still there can be some devi, some deviation. You have some mood you are doing, and in Vyad Bhagavata Amrita, for the past two years, continuously I am discussing. About how different, different way, all different, different devotees they are going to love Bhagwan in their own way, and it is approved by Bhagwan. Bhagwan approve it. If Bhagwan not going to approve, there is no value. But they have some difference. The devotional mood of Hanumanji Maharaj is surely not 
same with the mood of Yudhishthira Maharaj. Can it be? No? The mood, devotional mood of Hanumanji Maharaj must be different from the mood of Yudhishthira Maharaj. The mood of Pallad Maharaj surely not the same with Bali Maharaj, a little bit different mood of little, little different. So all they are going to get the lotus feet of Bhagavan, it's true. But they are getting the lotus feet of Krishna, not same. Like all the Munirishis in Dandakarana, they are going to get and all other Munirishis, they are also doing in their own name. They are doing pranayam, this, that, they are going to, they are trying in their own way. But all their effort is different, different. And if at all by the mercy of Krishna, they are going to get the lotus feet of Krishna. But their attainment is not same. All different, different. So, they like Vrittasu. Vrittasu, you heard the name of Vrittasu. Vrittasu surely getting the lotus feet of Krishna. I mean Narayan, Bhagavan. But the mood of Vrittasur, I mean the attainment of the lotus feet of Vrittasur, not the same with Gopikas. Not that you cannot say, oh, Vrittasur also getting, Gopikas also, what wrong in it, all same. No. No, not same. Has some diversity. Major, big diversity. Because Vrittasur is going to get, but no. His, his attainment of Bhagavad Bhagava Charan is not, you know, primary. Eh? primary se secondary and primary too, na? One is preliminary. I mean, he is going to get the lotus feet of Krishna, but not so important. But the, the importance depends upon the mood of Seva. It depends upon Seva. Krishna likes Seva. So, Gopika God, those Gopikas, they are going to get the lotus feet of Krishna. Surely it is not same with the Bhittasu. They are secondary and primary, they are different. Na? So, this way, all Kalyana, hmm, you know, this way, Kalyana also. Kalina so dangerous, cruel, but Krishna dancing on his head. How possible? Krishna himself dancing on the head of Kalyana and putting the impression of leg, which is inconceivable. Nobody getting this scope. Nobody getting this kind of scope. Kalyana getting. This way we say the attainment is not same. Jamal Arjun, or this way we can discuss tomorrow about different, different mood of different, different devotees. Tomorrow I can discuss. Excuse me, today time is over. So, anyway, evam guru pasanaika bhaktya vidya kutareno siteno dhiro vibhrishya jiva sayamayam apramatya sangvrishya atmanam atho tayyo astam vanchakalpadurusikya basindu bhavishya patitanam pavane bhavishnapshya.